Okay, so we are going to label the sheep brain for AMP1 at the College of Mount St. Vincent for Professor V's class. Here you can see we have the right hemisphere of the sheep brain. In my hand, you can see the spinal cord. I'll use the probe. So on the spinal cord, you can see that dark line. That is the central canal. You can see here that it bumps out a little bit. On that first bump, we would call that this part is the medulla oblongata. Now, you either know that because it bumps out, and that's the first bump, or because right above the medulla oblongata, you have this gap right here. This gap is the fourth ventricle. So here you have the cerebellum, and in between the medulla and the medulla oblongata and the cerebellum is the fourth ventricle. Tracing that up, we have the aqueduct of Sylvius right here. And above the, uh, sorry, inferior to or below the aqueduct of Sylvius, we have this second bump, which is the pons. So here we have the spinal cord. First bump is the medulla oblongata. Second bump, we have the pons. Now, over here, you can see the cerebral peduncle. Above or superior to the cerebral peduncle, we have the two colliculi of the corpora quadrigemina. Here we have the inferior colliculi and colliculus and the superior colliculus. If you were to put both halves of the brains together, you would have two superior and two inferior, making it quadrigemina. So moving on, anterior to the corpora quadrigemina, you have the pineal body. So this round part right here. And then next to that, anterior to that, you have the thalamus, or what's sometimes known as the intermediate mass of the thalamus. Below, or inferior to the thalamus, you have the hypothalamus, which you can tell is the hypothalamus because it's the tissue that's either below, hypo, below to the thalamus, or it's the tissue in between. See this round gland right here, the mammillary gland, or the op and sorry, the optic chiasm. So here you have the optic chiasm and the mammillary body, and in between the two is the hypothalamus, inferior to the thalamus. Superior to the thalamus, we have the third ventricle right here where I'm sticking the probe. Then we have the lateral ventricle right here, this space. And then in class, we talked about the lateral ventricle being similar to a room. So the curtain that separates the two rooms or the two ventricles on the right and left hemispheres is called the septum pellucidum. We tore that away so that you could see the space in the ventricle inside. Now this part that I'm pulling down on so that you can see the space, this tissue right here is the fornix or what would be the floor of the room, so floor fornix. Above this white tissue here, what would be the ceiling of the room that I'm pushing on, that is the corpus callosum and that would be the ceiling of the room. So C, corpus callosum, C, ceiling. So, oh, and then we have the olfactory bulb underneath the brain, or inferior to. So really fast, one more time, going through, we have the spinal cord with the central canal, medulla, bump two, the pons, the cerebral peduncle, aqueduct of Sylvius, and the fourth ventricle. Cerebellum, corpora quadrigemina, inferior colliculi, superior colliculi, pineal body, right here, thalamus, hypothalamus, mammillary body, posterior, optic chiasm, anterior. Then we have the third ventricle, 
fornix, pull that down to see the lateral ventricle, and then above that is the corpus callosum. There should be the septum pellucidum, but we tore it away. And then the olfactory bulb. The, this entire part, we're not going to label the different sulcus, sulci of the cerebral hemisphere. This entire thing for our class just needs to, you need to know that's the cerebral hemisphere. And that's the sheep brain. Good luck next week. You guys will do great.